All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think it's time to give a appropriate and needed update for the Snake Eater Performance Injectors I was sent. As you might have seen in this video that I posted, I did some decapping and I had a guy reach out to me on Instagram. His name's Brad. He owns a business called Snake Eater Performance. Some of you have heard this already, but relax. He reached out to me, and like I had said many times, the sloppy community and the hot-rodding auto car community could really benefit from a middle-of-the-road injector since decaps are roughly the size of 80-pound injectors, slightly below, slightly above, depending on which part number. Uh, the market for 80s, I think, has really shrunk because you can get them for nearly free, and... The 210 pound injectors, you can get as low as high 300s. You can get from a reputable source for 550 with a warranty. So it's tough to not just want to go huge. There are some limitations with the stock computer. However, it is more difficult to get it working correctly. It's not that it cannot be done, but if you're using a stock computer, sometimes you don't need that large of an injector and whatever pitfalls there may be, especially if you're tuning yourself or learning on them, it's not often, it's not as easy as a smaller injector. So with the gap wide open for a middle of the road 1000 or 1500 cc injector, Brad took it upon himself to get, you know, many Chinese manufacturers behind him, did a lot of research and development, had a lot of failed crappy units. He sent me the... 1500s, these guys right here, this is a data sheet, disregard this, this is this is some like pre stuff that he made. Anyway, I did this video on the cheap 150 pound injectors and I'm like, man, you know, this would be great if they work. And then I did a follow up video where I test them on a flow bench and I talk about how well they actually work and I make stupid faces for your enjoyment. Anyway, they did shockingly good. My friend and I, who owns Area 1320, who has the injector flow bench, were blown away by how good they were. And at that point, we decided to move forward with putting them on a test vehicle, which I said I would like to put them on. My friend's car was a perfect candidate, Matt Amy's Nova. He has a overdone fuel pump and 80-pound injectors. So he has a Walbro, not a Walbro, a MagnaFuel 4303 external pump, which can do a thousand horsepower on ethanol. And he only has 80 pound injectors. So he's maxed out at like six and change on gasoline through the unlocked auto. And if he would swap to E, you know, he would take a horsepower cut because of how much extra fuel it needs. So dropping in these Siemens Deca height physical size replacement injectors with the same plug was a no-brainer for his car. So we put an ethanol content sensor on it and finally lined up the days and worked everything out. And we put his car on the dyno the other day and we did a pull and I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys his log here. Uh, ethanol content 52% and this tops out at 210 kPa, but that's because this is a two-bar operating system on a PO1 ECU. It was actually running 18 pounds of boost, and you can see here around 13 to 12 degrees of timing, and it made 650 tire, and that's only on 50% alcohol, and you can see it was only using roughly 60% of the injector. So these injectors are awesome. They're working great. The drivability is very good. They are not hard to tune. Uh, I have no base for an injector roughly this size, and we are doing excellent with it. Uh, I have spent barely any time working on Matt's tune here, and it starts, runs, drives. So we're going to refine it more. I put them up available on the sloppy tune cabinet, but that is uh, you know, an incredible result. I splashed a little bit more timing in, this next one, and it, it made like 660 rear wheel letting out early. So we're really pleased with that aspect. It seems like they're doing great. Obviously, uh, like I said, and Brad also agrees, it would be nice to run these for about a month or two with gasoline and ethanol mix 
and then take them out and flow them on the bench again to make sure they still are being consistent. But at this point, I don't really think there's going to be an issue. And eventually also, I don't know if we're going to turn up Matt's car. Uh, he is happy with it, not blowing up right now. So it may be a little bit to uh, talk him into it. But they are doing excellent. And also another guy on the sloppy page that's a tuner, Cesar Enriquez, was he recently did a vehicle with a P59 and Snake Eater 1500s and made 930 rear wheel through the unlocked auto. So they are doing excellent. And what I did was I, I got his tune and I got my PL1 tune and his P59 tune. And I put them both up available on the tune cabinet for people to grab that might have these and be struggling or have no base to work with. So they are doing great. They're doing way better than expected. They are easy to tune and drive, and there has been no real issues at all. So a great result. And for people who are wondering if they are any good, they are doing really good. Everything is working good. So I realized I haven't really done a good update like this. So I wanted to go over that stuff quick and share that great result. And he is selling these for, you're going to have to check his website and with him, but I believe it's around 225 for a matched set of eight of these, which is an incredible price point for that size injector that actually works, in my opinion. So we will be doing more research on these over time. I actually just bought a set of 1000s from him to mess with also and see how they work and tune out. So I'll be updating you on that, but seeing how well they work now and seeing the interest in them already, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm tuning a bunch of cars with his 1,000 and 1,500 cc injectors over the course of the rest of the summer. So enjoy that quick update. Hope that answers a bunch of questions. If you have some questions about them, you can ask below, but I think I covered mostly everything. So thanks.